y'all ever heard of the Israelites? Anybody already familiar with the Israelites? Anybody? Y'all know a little bit? Okay. Do anybody got any questions before we just give the whole spiel? Are there any questions before I get to ask the questions? Okay, okay. Big bro in the jersey right there. Number four. Big bro. Same. What's your name, bro? Huh? I'm D. Ron. Who? The Run. The Run? Yeah. Okay, okay. What's your nationality? You know? Okay. Big bro in the red. What's your name? Butch. Butch. What's your nationality? <laughs> I know mine, I'm asking you yours. What's your nationality? Black man. Black man? Black man. Big bro in the navy blue hoodie right here. What's your nationality? You don't know what a nationality is? All right, what's your nationality? Yeah, man, we, don't, we, we don't know that. We don't know none of this. He said, we don't know. It's an English word. It's an English word. Hey, sir, what's your nationality, man? Black yeah. American. Yeah, see, he know what it means. A nation, a nation is where he come from. Yeah, it's that, that, uh, yo. I'm from the hood again, over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He hold my Lucas. Uh, over there behind, you know. That's that where you come from. You know, my wife, Mexican American. She was, her family's from Mexico. Okay, America. we got you, we got you. All right, bro, in the shorts. What's your nationality? Boston, you good. Appreciate you. You said what? Black American. Okay, okay, okay. So according to the Bible, in the Bible, can we find American or black American in the Bible? Do y'all believe in the Bible? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're raised off of it. In the great way, you looking like it. What's like, you out right? So do you believe in the Bible? <laughs> well, I just listen, bro. You just listen? Just okay, listen. okay, okay. I also believe it's just not a lot, you know? Okay, for sure, for sure. So what we've been taught, what, you know, we've been conditioned to believe is the Bible is the white man book, Jesus white, you know what I'm saying, the, the, we ain't got really nothing to do with that, we learned that in slavery. Now, the truth about what I just said was the religion, Christianity, y'all see these churches with the crosses and all of that? Yes, that was enforced upon us in slavery. But our true nationality, our true history is the Bible, right? The Bible tells us our true nationality. We are the Israelites. Our forefathers, the ones that actually wrote the Bible. Y'all ever heard of King James? Did y'all know he was a black man? Okay. No, go ahead. You don't think the white man took that book and rewrote a few words while we was Irish shoveling and shit? Okay, well, let me ask you this. According, according to Bible knowledge, who is the wisest Richest man to ever walk the earth. Why is the richest man ever walk the earth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Y'all ever heard of King Solomon? Yeah. yeah. King Solomon, right? Yeah. All right, Song of Solomon 1 and 1. He said, you don't think, so the brother said, you don't think the white man touched the Bible and did this and did that? Let's examine some stuff then. Read that. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So this is Solomon's song, the, rich, the richest, wisest man to walk the earth. Read verse 5. Verse 5. I am black. What did Solomon say? I am black. So if the white man dealt with the Bible and switched things up, why would he leave that in there? Why would he want you to know that the wisest, richest man in the Bible was a black man? He just straight up said, I am black. Right? Get Revelation 13, verse 10. Y'all ever heard the book of Revelation? That's the last book in the Bible. The last book in the New Testament. It's about the last days. Revelation 13 and 10. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. Uh-huh. He that leadeth into captivity. So he that leadeth into captivity. So I know everybody didn't know what nationality meant. Who know what captivity meant? When you capture, right? So what's another word for that? Uh, prison. Prison, what's another word for that? Uh, as far as historically dealing with our people. Slavery, right? Captivity. 
So read that again. He that leadeth into captivity. So the person that led others into slavery, into captivity, read on. Shall go into captivity. God said that's their judgment. They're going to go into slavery. If they led you into slavery, God said they're going to go into slavery in the future. So if they wrote the book, why would they leave that in there? Do that make sense? Now, but then again, it give us, it give us black slaves hope. You know what I'm saying? We, we think we worked hard enough, we can get to what it is. So you think they was teaching us that yeah, when we were slaves? I think they tricked us off, man. Like they tricked us off. Hold on, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I know where you coming from, but listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm listening to you. You think. You got points, too. You think when we was in slavery on a plantation, oh. they told us, oh. yeah, nigger, psh, don't worry. The Bible say we going to go into slavery one day, too. Psh. You think that's what they were saying? No. no. The thing, remember, if you knew how to read as a slave, what happened to you? They sell you, they put you in the field. You can't be around nobody if you read. Okay. Okay. So why would you get in trouble for being a slave knowing how to read? They ain't want you to. I don't know, That's tough, dude. See, this is the thing. It's the difference between the religion, Christianity, and what the Bible actually says. You think they wanted you to read and find out that the people of, of God in the Bible was black? Mm -hmm. Moses let my people go. The God destroyed the Egyptians to free them out of slavery. You think they wanted the slaves to know they was black? Exactly. See, we've been lied to. The white man don't got nothing to do with writing this book at all. Right. Period. You know they tried to kill King James when he published the book. They don't want, listen, the white man don't got nothing to do with the writing of this book at all. This book is our history. So, so, so how the white man get in get, get there, that's in the Bible too. First Maccabees 348. How, 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 <laughs> if a black man wrote the book, why they put the white Jesus? I got you. Watch this. That's first, in the Bible too. Read first that. Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. Uh-huh. And laid open the book of the law. So when the white man gained power in what you call the Renaissance era, which means rebirth, when they gained power in the 1400s, they started the process known as iconoclasm. So all just even with the Egyptian stuff, right? When you go look at the, uh, what them things called, the sphinxes and all of that, they chopped the noses off because the noses let you know them black, them black people, them pharaohs and all, they was black. They chopped off all the noses. They whitewashed all the images all over the world that had anything to do with black people being in power. So one of the things that they did when they got their hands on the Bible, which is our book, read on. And laid open the book of the law. Uh-huh. Wherein the heathen. The heathen, meaning the nations, which is them, read. Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They, they sought to paint the likeness of their images. Meaning they took the angels, the prophets, Jesus, etc., and they push the imagery that they are white. God said that they did that way back when it was the Greeks. Right. Under Alexander, the, the so-called Alexander the Great, Alexander the Greek in the Bible, that's what they did during his time. They took the Bible and they painted the images as white people. But they could not alter the word of God. Right. Did that answer your question, bro? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So now let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. So I'm going to give y'all a whole rundown on how we know our true nationality according to the Bible is the Israelites. That's who we are, right? We not just some niggas from Hope, Arkansas. Was, was, was we God-chosen people. Was the Israelites doing slavery? You said what? We just found that. We found that religion after slavery. It's not a religion. It's a, it's a lineage. It's a nationality. Just like China, they the Chinese, yeah. the Saudi Arabian, they the Arabs. We are the, whether we want to believe it or not, that's who we are in the bloodline. Right. All right. Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one. Deuteronomy one and one. Uh huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who in here familiar with the story about Moses let my people go when they was in <laughs> Egypt in slavery? Right. We all heard of that, right? So. God destroyed the Egyptians with ten plagues, and the Israelites got freed out of Egypt. 
So the Lord did them a big favor by freeing them out of slavery, right? So what do you think, what do y'all think God wanted in return from the people that he slaved, from the Israelites? What do you think he wanted in return from them? I don't know. So, okay, what do y'all ever heard, thou shalt not this and thou shalt this, right? What that's called? Start with a C. Commandments. So God got commandments. He got rules and regulations. Just like y'all men, y'all got kids and stuff, right? And y'all household, y'all got rules and regulations. God said, look, I'm y'all God, y'all. My people, I freed y'all, but guess what? Y'all got to follow my rules and regulations, my laws, statutes, and commandments, right? I done done y'all this big favor. Just do that for me in return. Obey my commandments, right? So what do y'all think happened after we got free, we in the wilderness, right? What do you think was the, under, the other end of the deal if they didn't keep the commandments? Right. So if we sin, what do you think God would do? What do you think was the other end of the deal? Okay, okay, watch this. Deuteronomy 28, read verse 1, then we're going to jump to 15. Y'all listen good, listen good to this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Come on. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, Read. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So God said if we obeyed him, then he would set us up on high above all nations of the earth. So just like y'all see in society today, how the white men, wherever they live at, they live in the best places, right? They businesses, they got the skyscrapers, they got all the technology, they got the nice cars, they got the planes. When black people got stuff, we might have some, but it's run down. It's in the worst part of the city, right? Y'all understand what I'm saying? God intended, if we kept his commandments, to set us up above everybody else in society. Right. He made it to where the Israelites would be on top if they kept God's commandments. So, 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 so. Well, why do white people still on top? They, 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 they listen to what God said. Watch this. Amos 3 verse 1. This the yeah. thing. Did God free white people out of Egypt? Uh, no. No. He, he was only dealing with the Israelites. So think about it like you got kids. You got six kids, right? Yeah. All right, so big. Now, you love your people. You love all your people, right? We don't count. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, right? I'm, 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 so let's just say you pull up at their school. Let's say you pull up at their school, right? Yes, sir. And they in a group with 50 other black kids being bad. Yes, sir. Now, you might be disappointed and mad at all the kids, but who the kids you going to discipline? Oh, my. You're, exactly. That's the thing we don't understand about God. We think since God created all mankind or whatever, he everybody got. No. Remember, he just, he killed, murdered, slaughtered Egyptian innocent babies to deliver the Israelites. Because the Egyptians was not his people. The other nations is not his people. He only dealing with the Israelites. Read that scripture. Amos. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, uh -huh. O children of Israel. O children of Israel. Read on. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. The Israelites which I brought up out of Egypt. Listen to this. Read. Saying, uh -huh. you only have I known. What did God say? You only have I known uh -huh. of all the families of the earth. Of all the nations I made in the earth. The Israelites is the only people I know. That's the only people that I deal with. Read on. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So God said, since I'm only dealing with you, 
God says, since I'm only dealing with you, I'm going to punish you for your iniquities. All right? Read that one more time. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You heard that, big bro? I'm listening. God said he going to punish the Israelites for their iniquities because they his chosen people. That's his children. All right? Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Yes, sir. And it's, a, and it's even a, a deeper understanding as to why the white man is allowed to be on top, right? Because it's more so a punishment for us. Right. And I'm going to explain that too. We'll read Deuteronomy 28, 15 now. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, read. to observe to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said if the Israelites didn't keep his commandments, then curses would come upon them and overtake them. Hmm. Big bro in a white shirt. Which is, that was slavery, right? What's your name, big bro? King. I like that name. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. It's a bad thing, right? So God said to the Israelites, Yah freed you, I love you. But if you disobey my commandments, if you want to kill, steal, commit adultery, all these evil things, I'm going to put curses upon you, right? Which is a bad thing. This chapter is a list right. of bad things that would happen to the children of Israel. All right, read verse 46. Verse 46. Uh-huh. And they shall be a shall be upon thee for a sign. And the curse is going to be upon the Israelites for a sign. Like, this is how we knew that this was the hot rod barbershop. Because you got a what? You got a sign that said it. That's an identification marker. So we know anybody who read the Bible can understand who the Israelites is by reading these curses. Because the curses will be upon them for a sign to reveal who they are. All right, read on. And for a wonder, uh -huh. and upon thy seed. What is a God? seed upon your seed? What that's talking about? It will be upon you and your yes, seed, child. your child. Yes, right, so, that, so this means that these curses are generational. They will be upon your children, their children. It will be upon your seed forever, right? Now back to what bro said. Read verse 43. This is a sign to reveal who the Israelites is, read that. Verse 43, uh -huh. the stranger that is within thee. The stranger is referring to the other nations. The stranger that's within you, that live in the same cities as you, read. Shall get up above thee very high. That's a curse, big bro. That's why the white man above us. That's why the Chinese man can move over here and be above us. That's why the Arab man, you, you could be in a community for 100 years, mm -hmm. generations. Not have one business that lasts. Arab come over here, set up a gas station. Booming. Five, ten years. East Indian come over here, set up a hair salon. Booming. Five, ten years. You see what I'm saying? God said that that would happen to the Israelites. Read that again. The stranger that is within thee. The other nations that's within your community, come on. Shall get up above thee very high. Even though you didn't been there for years. Your people might own some land, whatever. The other nations gonna come and they gonna get up above you. Where you at? Read on. And thou shalt come down very low. And you gonna come down very low. To the hood, to the projects, to the slums. If you go in any city, wherever we go, we go everywhere around the world. Wherever we look at five people, we go into the slum. Right. We go into the ghetto. That's what we know. Now, we know some of our people live in the suburbs or whatever. But if you want to immediately find black people, where are you going to go? In a black shirt. Which you, uh, I remember your name, but I, not Be right running. now. Be running. If you want to find black people immediately, where you going? Straight to the project. Straight to the, project. Straight to the hood. Say who Straight to the project. Same thing. God said that that's a curse that would happen to the Israelites. That's a sign of who they are. Watch this, verse 16. Verse 16. Uh-huh. Cursed shall thou be in the city. You're going to be cursed in the city. That's why we deal with the, the most extreme poverty, the most extreme violence. Right? We got the worst education, the worst school systems. 
I, we ain't got no private schools, no upper echelon education. A lot of our people grow up, they may make good grades in school, but they still be slow. You understand? Because the education in our community is poor. It's jacked up. God said that we would be cursed in the city. The worst stores. We got to go to the white side of town to get the good groceries. Right. The Kroger, the Whole Foods. The, we got to go to the white side of town for that. If we got something like that on the black side, it got a whole different smell in there. It's trash out in the parking lot. It's raggedy. God said that that's a curse that would happen to the Israelites. Now, not, but, but we range, we got a lot of young men, but we range, we got a lot of older men as well. Don't get it, you know, don't think that it's just a young man thing. You know, it's all ages in this. But y'all familiar with some history, like dealing with our people as far as 17, 1800s? Y'all know about a little history of black people? No. What's your name, sis? Oceana. What was black people doing in the 1600s, 1700s? In America? In slavery? All right, tell me a little bit about slavery. Like, you wake up and you a slave. What, what, what you gonna do for that day? Okay, where master gonna have you at? But where your folks would have been at, though? Your, do like your darker, your, your darker people. Yeah. Where they gonna be at? What you say? In the field, right? Watch this. Keep reading. Same verse. And cursed shall thou be in the city. Uh huh. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So what other nation in the world have y'all ever heard of being forced to work for hundreds of years on plantations? in a cornfield, a cotton field, tobacco field. What people y'all know to work that except for us? And never get a dime for it. Have y'all ever got paid for that? Your people, your folks, they ever gave us reparations? No. God said that the Israelites would be cursed in the field. The Israelites would suffer these evil things in the field being whipped if your bag of cotton went heavy enough. Right? That's stuff that happened to the Israelites. Now watch this, verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Big bro in a great shirt. What's your name, bro? Me? Yeah. I'm AJ. AJ. Yes, sir. So what's your last name? What <laughs> what's your last name? AJ make it. Come on, what's up? You say what? AJ make it. Come on. AJ make it. All right, look, bro, what's your last name? Mayfield? Wingfield. Wingfield. All right. So, I'm going to ask y'all in general, a last name like Wingfield, was that one of our last names when we got put on a ship when we was on the West Coast of Africa? No! No way! No, sir! Right? That's, some, that's a European last name. That's the name that they put up on us, right? How did we get them type of last names? Read that. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That's what happened. I, you had kids, you was a slave, the master snatch your kid up and put them on an auction block and sell them. He'll sell them all the way to Virginia. He'll sell them all the way to Alabama. And there wasn't nothing you could do about it. And they would take on whatever slave master bought them, that last name would be branded in their back. Y'all know how like sororities and fraternities be doing, branding the, you know, the whatever. They did that with their last names. So that way they, they would know whose property you was. And to this day, we still wearing them same last names. Meaning we steal their property. Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. To fail with longing means you sad. You want your children back when they get taken from you. But your eyes gonna fail, meaning you're not gonna be able to hold back the tears, you're gonna cry. Y'all ever seen like a slave movie, 12 Years a Slave, something like that, Django, right? When your kid being snatched from you, you're gonna be sad, you're gonna cry. Cause you don't know, you don't know if you're gonna ever see him again, right? Read on. And there shall be no might in thine hand. That's a curse. God said you wouldn't have no way to fight for him back. You ain't had no economic might, no money to buy him back. You ain't had no guns to fight for him back. 
God said that that would happen to the Israelites. So just based off the couple of little verses that we read so far, who history do this sound like? Is this white folks history? Part of both. Part of both? Part of both. So when did white people go through that? They shot us through it. Okay, so I, I see what you're saying. Well, yeah. read who suffered, like who suffered this you stuff that we read? Suffered. We, suffered. we suffered. Exactly, exactly. Watch this. Read verse 48. Verse 48. Uh-huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. God said you're going to have to serve your enemies. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh-huh. In hunger. In hunger. When you get hungry, you got to go to your enemies to eat. Where do y'all go to to buy y'all groceries, y'all food? Walmart, uh, fast food, fast food restaurants, Burger uh, King, McDonald's, right, uh, all them corporations, is they owned by our people or white people? Most of them white by, man. by white men. By white men, right? God said, read it from the top again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, uh -huh. in hunger. So when you get hungry, you got to go to your enemies to survive, to eat. Read on. And in thirst. And in thirst. What type of water y'all like to drink? What you mean, the brand? Like, yeah, the brand. The Sony. Uh, the Sony? Ozarka. Ozarka. Okay. Is any of that black on? Probably not. No. Not even great value. That's the cheap kind. Right. Black people don't even own that. Not 1% of the stock and ownership at all. God said you're going to have to go to your enemies when you thirsty. Read on. And in nakedness. And for clothes on your back. You know, we don't produce our own clothes. It always say made in China, made in Taiwan, somewhere. Read on. And in want of all things. And whatever you lack, you're going to have to go to them. Read on. And he. And his enemy shall what? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who know what a yoke of iron is? Change. Okay, y'all got these flyers? Look on the, uh, what page is on? The second page, front page? Yeah, exactly, exactly. God said that your enemy would put a yoke of iron on your neck. We know our ancestors went through that, right? So it's identifying the enemy and it's telling you who you are. It said, your enemy will put a yoke of iron up on your neck till when? Until he have destroyed thee. So none of us in here still got them yokes on our neck, right? None of y'all got a physical iron yoke around y'all, right? Y'all know what that means? At this point, think about it. Go back to the first question I asked. What's your nationality? Right. Nobody was able to say, I'm an Israelite. I'm from the tribe of Judah. I'm from the, I don't know. I'm from Hope. You see what I'm saying? That means what? We all been destroyed. As a nation of people, we been destroyed. We don't know where we come from. We don't know our history. We don't know how, we don't know we was kings for real. We don't know that. We didn't know the wisest, richest king that ever walked the earth in the Bible said, I am black. In the Bible that been in your church your whole life. We never knew this. Why? Because your enemy destroyed you with what? false religion, Christianity, whipping it, forcing you to serve that God, a white God, that destroyed us, that destroyed us. All right, so we at the, we at the Hot Rob Wobber Shop in Hope, Arkansas. I'm speaking with, who we got right here? I'm AJ. We got AJ, who we got right here? Jerry. Jerry, this the barber right here. All right, the Sabbath day barber. Who we got right here? Duke. And we got Duke. All right, so tell me a little bit about y'all as far as what y'all, you know, what, what be going on in the community of Hope? What is, what is life out here in Hope? Uh, man, a lot of crazy nonsense, really. Nonsense, what say ye? Uh, same thing. If everybody mind their business, it'd been it'd be great. Hope would be great. So it'd be a lot of like messy stuff going on. Yeah, like, say, okay. Say, 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 like like we don't know y'all, but he do. If if he if he come here and tell us, man, dude ain't no good. You know we'll judge you by what he say. Okay. So that's what hope is. Okay. Okay. So it's a small town. It'd be like little petty drama and stuff going on. 
So based on what y'all learned today, based on what we brought out in the barbershop, like what, what effect do you think that information will have on this community? Uh, probably bring us a little closer. Uh, it's definitely taught us to maybe change up a little bit as you go. Yeah. I mean, everything can't be just all at once a change, but come up with a, a better life, okay. a slow change. Okay. By, by, by like he said, change, but you know, we learned a lot of stuff today, you know. <laughs> yeah, we really did. For sure. Like I said, this is going to bring a slow change yeah, we got a lot of within us. For sure, for sure. So we're, we're hypocrites right now, you know, like you like yeah. you spoke on earlier. We, we hypocrites right now, you okay. know. Okay, okay. So, so we're working on, it's on you, AJ. Okay. So we're working on, like I say, time now, what you say, uh, 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 progression. Yeah, yeah, progression, man. A slow change for us. Okay. Yeah, slow change, man. Yeah, my friend now, you know, I learned. You know, I learned a lot today, you know. I, I hate that, you know, I was living kind of yeah. off track, but you know, what y'all said help, you know, kind of yeah, kind of help and hurt because I'm going to be a little hypocrite for a few days, you know, until I understand. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, okay. Man, so. Come over, with, with, over time, man. It don't just happen in a day. That's what we saying. For sure. We agree. We agree. Now, with that being said, if we had like a facility or a building in Hope, Arkansas, where everybody could continuously come and learn more every Saturday. You know what I'm saying? We could gather together and learn more about what we taught today. How did, what do y'all think? Y'all think that would be a good thing for Hope? Of course. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say we'd be there every, every Saturday, but it's, I mean, it's people like we, if we learn, if I learn, because I don't listen to people. Y'all seen when y'all first came yeah. here. I wasn't trying to hear what y'all talking about, yeah. but a lot of the things y'all said did make sense. So, and, and, and of and course. The way, and the way y'all explain it, y'all youngsters helping youngsters, yeah, you know, yeah. so. Yeah. Now, I, I respect it more y'all, y'all, y'all our age limit around our age limit, yeah. you know, because, like, I look at y'all birds and, and, and the stuff yeah. you say we shouldn't do, and y'all doing it, y'all example yeah. of it. So, yeah. so, so I believe if y'all did have one, you know, getting the people there for the first day, you know, be the you know the biggest deal for y'all but y'all would come though oh yeah yeah, yeah i'll make course. sure i bring my, sure. my, my little people my rounds you know yeah you know oh, yeah. i say something at the shop or whatever you know let everybody know but y'all like what you're doing boss man help I, me i would definitely speak on it because you know i learned something that I, I i mean i really didn't come to the barber shop to learn nothing and i came to the barber shop to get a change like every question so I, yeah every question i ask you boss man even though some of them were personal some of them was Something we shouldn't talk about, but you, you gave me an answer to everything, boss, man. And so I, I respect that. You know, it was I'll an answer pray. to everything. And, I'll and, and pray. He's not in here, but the guy that read the word, the, the way he read it, you yeah. know, right. wasn't nothing else going on while he was reading. He, yeah. His voice was strong. It made everybody be quiet, you know, so I respect it. You know, how y'all, y'all as speech, a spokesman, y'all yeah. are some good, powerful speakers. Oh, praise it. Well, once again, we appreciate you for letting us come in here and do that. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, AJ, for sticking around and, you know what I'm saying? So, all praise the Lord's willing. This ain't our last time seeing y'all, though. Oh, yeah. And I want to say again, you know, on camera, on air, and I like how you spoke to us, you know. It was from the heart. You didn't sugarcoat nothing. Yeah, that's what we used to, sugarcoat, you know. Like, like you, you heard when I had points when you had points. That was because... Yeah. Yeah. My people didn't break it down like you did, right, so right, that's all right. I knew. I thought I was right, right. you know. So, so you got I, you got people behind you know vouching for you, man. That's 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 big. Even even though they wasn't just talking, man. My guy here, you know, he look in your eye, he get your attention, and that's that's that. That made me look up. Like, hold on, man. I got a man that's that's watching me. Let me see what he talking when about. When you first came uh, in, we we didn't take it serious until yeah. you know. Yeah. You answered them first couple questions and you didn't sugarcoat nothing. There. You got everybody's yeah, attention real, in the man. shop. Man. You don't, when you don't quit, when you don't quit, yeah. they let us know you strive for something yeah. hard, man. You didn't you shut know, down. We laugh and I turn my head when you're talking yeah. first and did a yeah. little laugh, you know. Yeah. And then you went to talk and you know, you answered my question. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't beat around the bush like my parents do. Hey, yeah. 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 So, you know. Wow, man. Y'all was pretty loud with it. And like I said, y'all didn't fold. I appreciate you. Y'all didn't fold on it, man. Y'all kept going. Yeah, so. yeah. You made what, a whole hour and a half? I, I wouldn't even that. expecting that. No, no, yeah, I bet man. You people definitely we, but yeah, we. I often say, man, I definitely learned a lot that I, I really didn't didn't even think on the way you thought on it or the way you explained it to me. It was. It ain't never been explained to me anyway. So that's our problem. That's the problem with the youth. Yeah. Like they sugarcoat it, man. 
Okay. I like I like sayings. What I was talking to you with was sayings. You quote yeah. unquote, you know, scripture. You know? Yeah. yeah. When our parents could have just did that for us, man. You yeah. got us out here working backwards. Yeah. You know, you know, so I sure appreciate that, boss man. If we didn't learn that, I, 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 I learned something from y'all, you know, and oh, the way y'all y'all handle business. So I would definitely I can because I can't explain it the way y'all did. I would definitely bring my little brothers in there, man, and let them hear it. Cause like I said, I can't explain it the way y'all did, but I can I can listen right. and learn. So if I learn something, I know a lot of people. Cause when, like I said, when you came in, I was just looking at you like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And my man here, you know, he, he kept looking at me. I'm like, hey, I got somebody watching me. Let me see what he's talking about. Let me watch yeah. him. Let me get, <laughs> let me learn something. Yeah. You know, I don't just put information out from myself or. or that I don't know. I can't just talk on something I don't know, but uh, apparently I knew some of this stuff and didn't know I knew it, you know? So I, I definitely appreciate y'all coming in. Yes, sir. Oh, praise it. Hey, we appreciate y'all, man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.